Here's another one of those tips I'm going to throw out there. Whether or not you use it will be up to you. If you are going to run a snake a short distance, and I've actually used this for um, one time I had to run something 50 feet, and I, I still use this, but I needed a, I had a couple people helping me. And I would imagine you could always do something like this with some pipes. You know, if you had to go a long distance for your front yard or something, you could run, put these in some small pipes. Because what happens is if they aren't contained, they will just wad up. And uh, hopefully your hand is not near or anyone else's hand it when it happens. These things will wad up once they hit something or um, just because it's so long. They'll just start... Uh, um, twisting it up into a ball and you'll have to stop uh, reverse the drill and uh, and start going forward again now this actually I ran this through and got rid of the clog but it's hard to actually just put something like this in if you're just trying to slide it in manually without turning it um, it's hard. It's hard to get it in there. You'll hit like a little bump or something or a T uh, in the fittings uh, where the fittings change directions and you, uh, you're you not going to go anywhere. With something like this, you can. So I just put it on the end of a battery-operated screw gun and turn it slowly. There's no need to go fast. You know, some debris that came out of it. So again, I'm just throwing this out there. It is up to you whether or not you choose to use something like this. I've never seen anybody do it. I just kind of thought of this myself. I'm not saying there's no way am I the original person that thought of this. But uh, it definitely works. And uh, you can, uh, like I said, I've, I've used it to send uh, over 50 feet uh, through there. But you need a couple of people to help you. Or you're going to have to figure out a way. Because this stuff just twists and turns. Uh, you can put it in. And it's like I said. That's why I said to go slow. I repeat. Go slow. Turn this on low and go slow. Otherwise you will tear up some stuff. And, and again, if you're doing something like this on in a kitchen sink. When this thing wads up. Um, into a ball it's going to break things so you need to really be careful this isn't something that I'm suggesting that you do I'm just throwing it out there use it at your own risk